hello students in this video we are going to find the value of sin a and sec a when 15 cot a equals 8 this question is from class 10th math book and it's from exercise 8.1 question 4 so in the question we have been given that 15 cot a equals 8 that means cot a equals 8 upon 15 or we can convert this cot a into tan a. Tan a, tan a is opposite or the reciprocal of cot a. So tan a will be 15 upon 8. Also tan or tangent of an angle is equal to perpendicular upon base. So we know the perpendicular and base of a triangle. And for finding sin a and sec a we need to find the hypotenuse of the triangle so let's draw this triangle and find the hypotenuse of the triangle so this is a right angle triangle with an angle of a at the base this is a and perpendicular distance is given as 15 and base is 8 we need to find the value of hypotenuse let's name it as p q and r so in this triangle we are going to apply Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem in triangle PQR hypotenuse square equals base square plus perpendicular square or we can write it as PR square equals base square is QR square plus pq square we know the value of pq and qr which is qr is 8 so that's 8 square plus 15 square equals pr square pr square equals 8 square is 64 and 15 square is 225 when we add the 2 we'll get 289 so PR square equals 289 or PR will be equal to square root of 289 or PR equals 17. Square root of 289 is 17. So we got the value of hypotenuse at 17. Now we can find the value of sine A. Sine A equals perpendicular upon hypotenuse and here perpendicular is pq upon hypotenuse is pr pq we know as 15 and hypotenuse is 17 we just calculated and the next value we need to find out is sec a sec is the reciprocal of cos a and that is going to be hypotenuse upon base which equals PR upon QR which equals 17 upon 8. The value of sin A is 15 upon 17 and the value of sec A is 17 upon 8. This is how we find the value of other trigonometric ratios if only one trigonometric ratio is given to us. So I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.